minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, go for main engine start, 1, 0, and lift off of the Atlas V rocket with Cygnus and the SS John Glenn, extending the research legacy for living and working in space. Our roll program has begun. Body rates look good. Spurring continues to look very good. Pump speeds and trigger pressures in band. the zero angle attack phase of flight. Temperatures look good, body rates are right down low. RD-180 performance continues to be normal. through the sound barrier. Max Q, body rates continue to look very good at this point in flight. Vehicle hitting maximum dynamic Booster pressure. Booster has throttled back, right on schedule, signatures look good. Engine throttle Current back altitude going through Max Q is miles. customary. Range distance is five and a half miles. Current velocity is 1,929 miles per hour. Range track shows good progress right down the middle of the corridor. Booster engine performance continues to look very good at this point. EU control is near nominal. Body rates look good. Steering has been enabled at this point. Body rates look good. The vehicle is now one half of its lift off weight. Two and a half minutes of the flight. The steering has begun. Body rates look good. And we've fired the RCS pyro valve. That system is now pressurizing the flight levels. Signatures look good. Current altitude is 29 miles. Downrange distance, 39 miles. Current velocity, 4,325 miles per hour. Booster has begun to throttle to maintain 3.5 Gs. Close loop steering has begun. Body rates look good. Vehicle is now one quarter of its liftoff weight. RD-180 continues to perform well. Extra ratio looks good. Space chill down has begun. And blue space chill down has completed. Went up on Beco momentarily. And we have Beco. June shutdown looks good. We have stage separation. We have locks and fuel pre-start. We have ignition and full thrust on the RL-10. Payload for jettison has occurred. Looks like a clean step. Let's 
since our steering has been enabled, body rates look good.